Hello everyone and welcome back to Destiny. It is of course the week of Crimson Days. I'm having a lot of fun with the new Crimson Days Crucible mode. Bungie has really nailed it with the ability recharge and the other mechanics that make this new and sadly limited time game mode really fun to play. In addition is the fixes to the holiday engrams and the cosmetics that are rewarded. They really show that Bungie is moving things in the right direction, at least with Eververse. And of course, we have even more improvements and new features coming with the February 27th update, and then the March update and the May update after that. A lot of cool stuff coming. One particular light item that I'm really looking forward to is the weapon and ability sandbox enhancements that are designed to make your guardian feel much more powerful. With it is a tentative adjustment to some exotics as well. Well, as it turns out, we may be getting some buffs to some not so popular exotics much sooner than we thought. If we are to look at the latest post by Activision to their Destiny 2 Instagram as any indication, does this post really suggest a much more imminent exotic tuning, and does it give us some hints as to which weapons are getting some much needed love? Let's get into it. So before we dive in, it's important to remember that the Destiny The Game Instagram and Twitter accounts are run by Activision, not directly from the developers or anyone like Christopher Barrett. But still, I think there's a reason they posted this particular line item amidst their Crimson Days promotions. I think we're getting a balance pass much sooner than the March update it's listed to be a part of. The picture shows the Sturm Kinetic Hand Cannon, the Fighting Lion Energy Grenade Launcher, and Darcy, the exotic sniper many of us wish was the PlayStation exclusive. But anyways, I wanted to dive in a little bit deeper on these weapons and see what we can do to make them a little bit better. So let's start things off by taking a look at Sturm, the exotic kinetic hand cannon. It is one of the few weapons that are paired with a legendary that adds more functionality to the weapon. The intrinsic perk is Accomplished. Kills with this weapon fill the magazine of the equipped energy weapon from reserves. So you can think of it as a free auto-loading holster perk for your equipped energy weapon. Moving on to this weapon's exotic trait, we have Storm and Stress. Kills with energy weapons grant bonus precision damage until next reload. The problem here is, just like with most other perks of this nature, the extra bonus damage is very small. From what I observed, you have a less than 5% increase in damage from the effect. This effect does stack over time as you switch in and out of the guns, but it's still nothing to write home about. The issue with this is that it does heavily rely on the Drang, which replenishes its ammo, and that is just to simply negate its horrible reload speed. You'll notice me say this a lot, and it's a point of contention that I have with a number of exotics, especially in Destiny 1, which is that the exotic perk is really nifty, but it's there to make the weapon simply adequate, not take it beyond. The gun's reliance on Drang in that respect makes it feel more like a crutch as opposed to a bonus perk. If the exotic perk of this weapon is to simply get me more ammo, then I can just use a weapon that has something like Outlaw or something that has a really good reload speed and has better stats all around like the Better Devils or even the Midnight Coup. So that perk is basically useless. And then you have the Energy Weapon Reload perk, which honestly isn't really that big of a perk and doesn't justify you using this weapon if you compare it to other weapons in its class. So what could make the Sturm a lot more useful? Well, for starters, I would also buff the Drang to make it a little bit more enticing to use. And then on top of that, for the Sturm itself, I would maybe have that additional damage stack maybe up to five times, giving you a total of 25% more damage. That would be noticeable. A faster reload would be nice so it doesn't rely on Drang to be a good weapon. Also give us an on-screen indication of anything that's happening. That would be pretty cool. Anyways, moving on to the Fighting Lion. I talked a lot about the Fighting Lion back when it was first sold by Xur, and it's not as bad of a weapon as you think. It does suffer from the issues of all grenade launchers, so the buffs to grenade launchers should help out quite a bit. But for the most part, I find it to be a relatively inadequate weapon for an exotic. I talked a lot about the Thin the Herd perk, which makes it feel like a weapon that isn't really designed to kill anything, which is not what you want out of a weapon. 
However, in my research for that video, I did discover a hidden perk which does reload the weapon, even if you kill an enemy that is not affected by the grenade, and in some instances is reloaded simply by the enemy taking damage from the weapon. But I'm going to chalk those up to being bugs due to their inconsistency and sloppiness of those hidden perks. So, what could make this weapon a little bit better? Well, for starters, let it reload anytime I get a kill, period, no matter what the source is from. This weapon is supposed to be something that I can pull out and do some damage right off the bat. If you want to make it feel like an exotic and not like another single load grenade launcher, you should make it reload every time an enemy dies. And yes, that should also count from getting kills from this weapon itself. If I'm using a single load grenade launcher and I get a kill with it, it should automatically reload it so I can continue firing. That's how you make an exotic feel powerful. Anything short of this is going to simply just let Bungie cross it off their list of things to touch, but no one is going to play with it. And finally, let's talk about Darcy. Good old Darcy. What can we say about this weapon? Well, for starters, sniper rifles are useless in PvE. There's no way to sugarcoat that. So they're going to have to make some massive improvements to how sniper rifles behave. Luckily, it is a point of focus for the team, and we should see some improvements pretty soon. But let's take a look at this weapon's exotic perks. First, we start with the intrinsic perk of Personal Assistant. Aim at an enemy to view its health and other critical information in the scope. The health is shown more as a percentage, which is already displayed on top of the enemy, so this is a little confusing. But honestly, I think it just serves as a marker for the Target Acquired perk, which simply adds better target acquisition and more precision damage. And yes, this is supposed to be an exotic weapon. Now, aside from the obvious sniper rifle buffs that we need, this is how I would improve this weapon. First up, I would take all of the perks it currently has and make them into the intrinsic perk. So basically, you would be able to gather the critical information and have increased precision damage. And then I would add an additional exotic perk that would then take it a step further. Something like make precision kills cause the bullet to over penetrate the enemy and then split into fragments that then hit other enemies beyond it. Kind of like think of like a shotgun blast out of the back of the head of the enemy you just killed. That would be pretty cool to see, and it would kind of excuse the sort of bulky nature of the design of the weapon. We need something creative and something arc related that actually makes sense and make it feel like an exotic, which it currently does not. Anyways, those are just some ideas off the top of my head that would improve the situation of those exotics that are pictured. Of course, there are plenty of other exotics that also need tuning. I would love to see the Graviton Lance become a lot more effective, the Skyburner's Oath, the Tractor Cannon, there's a lot of potential. So let's just hope those exotic buffs come sooner than later. Anyways, let me know in the comments below what you think some improvements could be to make these weapons a lot more usable. Let's discuss. Drop a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more Destiny content. And I will see you all next time.